Bye, Luna. We are. We are indeed. I don't have the bandwidth for for the Sims, so I mean, the temptation for Planet Crafter is mighty, but I feel like chilling out with some cross stitch is better for today. Oh, you played it too? Yes. It's so hard to put down. I did play for a little bit before stream today, but we went out. Flint was picking on me for being addicted to And we have ads. Finally, how long did that take? Three minutes for the ads to start. I don't know what's up with that. Start with it. Still convinced that I've forgotten something, but I have eaten today, so I guess that's it. It feels like it. I just had a big slurp of water. Coffee. Eh, it'll come out eventually. I'm definitely wearing pants, so there's that. Eh, good enough. Yeah. Can confirm, I'm wearing pants. That's true. Maybe it's just not important. These are so cute, by the way. Like even the little magnet on the back is cute. It's 
It's got a little... Oh, excuse me. A little hole there. I don't know what that's for. But the temptation to add like a little dangly charm or something. It's it it's very there. Look, it's magic. I can't see my hand underneath moving it. It's magic. Ghost! Ghost, hello! You are fast! I'm, I'm having a very, like... <laughs> uh, sir. I feel like this is the right t-shirt. I love this t-shirt, actually. Little cat, and he's just, like, pushing a coffee cup off the table. It me. I do what I want. Maybe my favorite t-shirt. Also, I couldn't be asked. Getting changed before stream, so. Okay. So, what were we up to here? That was a bad idea. All right. So this is Doggo's butt. Maybe I need to move this over a smidge. So yeah, this is this the swoop of dog butt. Index crafting. You sure are, Jay. <coughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if you're craft, if you're being creative, then yes. <clears throat> Whether it's drawing something or making something digitally or physically. Hi, Jay. What are we... What are you going on? Yes. What? What is S? Dark gold. Six or nine. Six. Very ridiculous, very animated. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like a perfect Sunday afternoon. Alright. 
<laughs> she has a gun with, well, obviously that's the appropriate place to keep your katana. <clears throat> Clearly. This, this is much easier when I don't have it on the frame. But when I have it on the frame, I don't have to hold it steady with my hands. It helps. It's been really fun hearing people, hearing stories from people who have picked up Planet Crafter. Just like hearing their progress. Got most of my Monday jobs done yesterday. So, tomorrow. Still have to mow the lawns. Could put off another week, we'll see. Potentially need to mow the lawns tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, and then just like, probably a little top up wash. But basically, I've got everything done for the week already. That means Monday and Tuesday, I can actually just, you know, relax. At least for one of those days. Now I just have to remember that I actually have the needle minder, so I don't need to like stab fabric anymore. Oh my god, my nose is so good here right now. Get her or not.
You need my shirt? It is a good t-shirt. It me. Hello. <laughs> the... The level of restraint in not playing Planet Craft today My nose, I have so allergies today. You <sighs> get <Speaking of> allergies. <coughs> I think we got about, I don't know, at least four people bought that game this week. So we're doing our part. It is pulling to me. I built some aquariums. I discovered coral last night. Um, we're in the amphibian stage. Again, planets trying to seduce me with their treasures, clouds, and stuff. Amphibians. I told Beard it wasn't a competition, and he said, No, it's not, as long as we stay ahead of Drax. <coughs> Ooh. They were, wait, why? Who's having sex with trees in public? Well, the trees are having sex. What? Am I missing something? Oh, allergies. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, my head went, I went tree ants. Yeah, getting their sex powder all up my nose. That doesn't sound wrong. Well, if they could stop, please. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what... You've already done it all. Where are my antihistamines? Here we go. Not, not usually, Jay. I think... Bad said he's he's got fish. Okay. Um so Ali and I went into a mushroomy place and then found some keys, I guess. Uh and then we went into like a an old building with a, a shipwreck but we couldn't get to the the wreck um but we read like the the tablets that were there i was blown away by the coral yeah yeah, we were just wandering about and we were like, ooh, giant mushrooms. And and then we had to like death hop back home because we weren't prepared. Um but I've kind of I've just been doing like sort of background stuff because I don't I wanna save some of that, like if Ali wants to join in again. So I have like a bunch of like bee farms and I put in a, a nuclear core and one of the shipwrecks. And so I got a bunch of goodies from in there, which is kind of cool. Except I can't make pulsar quartz yet. Annoying. But we're not far off it, I don't think. 
yeah, the car was really pretty and caught me by surprise. As was all the butterflies just like flying around as well. Must have been so long like moving things and building that I missed that changes were happening around me. Which I kind of love. All right, what color are we using today? Up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah, go on, Drax. Play again. Play some more. I dare you. I played a little bit before we before stream before we went out and I was a little tempted just to leave it idle. Hi Rabby. I was super tempted just to leave it idle while I was out away so I could progress, but that felt cheaty. Just stabbing stuff today, Ravi. Just being stabby. What about yourself? Did you have a bit of a play of Planet Crafter? We got we got Ravi as well, Drax. We got Ravi and Luna in here. <laughs> both both playing it. <clears throat> You're growing squash and eggplant? That that's that's my girl. You don't need to worry about thirst and hunger. Whatever. Good job. That's how you know you're doing it right. Mmm. Fancy. Oh, thank you, Toast. Yes, do the stretch, do the hydrate. Take your meds. I hope I hope you all find the joy uh, that the Drax and I have in the game. All right, I have taken antihistamines, so now plant sex can hopefully stop making my nose itch. Look, I'm using my needle minder. It's so fancy. Yes, it is, Ravi. I mean, you, you heard what it was like when Ali and I are playing together. As long as you're having fun. My nose is so itchy. I want it to stop. Allergies. Mosquito tried to like take an entire leg this morning. So that was fun. Florida mosquitoes are just huge. And they're assholes. So it's like all I can do not to scratch at my ankle. Ugh. Do you get like, mine will kind of get swollen. They end up looking like golf balls. Are you allergic like that as well? They, they know, man. They sense weakness. Or deliciousness, I guess, depending on who you talk to. 
they barely bother Flint. They'll have like a bit of a munch on him, but they'll just like, eh. I feel like I get unfairly targeted by mosquitoes. You're the magnet. There's always one, Karen. There's always one of us. Wasn't your name green last time? Or did I miss something? Yeah, like it's, it's so mean. Well, that's good. I noticed, I know when I first came, um, came to the States, I went to, when I went up to Alabama, which is where some in-laws live, they have no seums, which I think are a type of mosquito. But the insects were so, <sighs> I don't know what it was about them, if it was just that my immune system wasn't used to all the different, uh, you know, animals and critters and stuff, but I, I kind of ended up looking like Elephant Man. I had so many lumps and bumps and it was rough. Oh. Went to the rescue. Oh god. The nets. Okay. Yeah, I reacted to them badly. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Because I don't, I don't get bitten by them here, but I was. I was a mess after my first couple of times. And that picture, by the way, needs a fucking trigger warning. <laughs> a picture on the top of that website. It is, that is a lot of bites. But yeah, that's what I looked like after my first trip to Alabama. Yeah. And we don't have them in New Zealand, so my body's like, what the fuck is this? I don't like it. Let's react disproportionately. Jerks. I wouldn't mind going up, up to uh, North South Dakota. I think it looks pretty up there. And now I know to be careful about bugs. Flint, your um, flip flop should be out for delivery soon. Shoes. Oh, my nose. Oh, God. Stop. Oh, a cake turner. Oh man, that sucks. I get, I react to sunscreen as well sometimes and it's the worst. It makes me blister. And the number of times where people are like, you should wear sunscreen, I'm like, there's so many sunscreens that literally make me I, I don't have reactions to anything else but sunscreens will make me blister and burn faster than if I just you know jeez I'm sorry you ha that happened to you but it makes me feel better that I'm not the only one who has allergic reactions to sunscreen you you poor bugger though your face and your your ankles all sort of falling off that's not fair. I 
I think I found one when I lived in New Zealand that I could use. Um, I can't remember what the name of it was, though. I think, funnily enough, it was, like, from Body Shop. And it had, like, some different active ingredient in it or something. My solution now is just don't go outside. Because the angry sky gods are un d displeased and will do terrible things. So we just stay inside where it's nice and cool and shady. Everyone you try for jeez. Yeah. I mean, ultimately it's better. In my opinion, it's better for your your skin to not wear that sort of stuff anyway. Unless you get like the fancy non-comedogenic stuff. But yeah. It is frustrating when you wanna, you know, when you want to, to dress up and wear nice makeup and stuff and have a reaction. I'm fine with most makeup, but apparently eyeshadow is a big one that's a problem for me. Like my eyes will get instantly itchy if I wear eyeshadow. And I've... The only times in the last few years that I've worn eyeshadow, like any form of like makeup is for stream. I don't, I don't do I'm it for stream. So like move or whatever. Yeah, I'm not I'm not great with with makeup uh, generally, especially because I can't. If I take off my glasses now, I can't see well enough anyway. You're very kawaii. But yeah, I mean, I'm quite I'm quite happy with my my lip color solution that I've adopted over the last year. But eye makeup, no. Nah. Hello! Hi! You know, I'm happy I've got my, my eyeliner tattooed, which I forget about, but I've got my eyeliner tattooed on, so I don't have to worry. That, I really like. I still love it. That's enough for me. If it fades, it fades, but I don't go into the sun, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. But yeah, every time I wear eyeshadow, I just, my eyes get so fucking itchy. So, I just... It's fine. Hi. We, today we are doing more step by numbers. Um, while I complain about pickups and allergies. <laughs> Everything is fine. Yes, I have hiccups. I have hiccups and sneezes. Oh god. I'm a mess. <laughs> the streamer burps. Molly's streamer burps are contagious. Oh, keep on telling me about it. I'm just going AFK so I can blow my nose. But I'm here. I'm just muting it.
So, product from Shark Tank. Go on. Actually, I can normally fix my hiccups pretty quickly by myself, just by controlling the, my diaphragm when I'm drinking. Oh. Flint gets the worst hiccups ever. And I've tried to explain how you can use breathing to control him, and he's just like, nothing works. He's given up. Maybe he needs a hiccup straw. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Oh, interesting. Oh, see, holding my breath doesn't work, but I have, uh, I don't know if it was partly breathing learned from trombone, but I have a thing where I'll, I'll, I'll drink through a straw and I'll just like sip a little bit and breathe in a little bit and sip in a little bit and breathe in a little bit, like three or four times. And then I'll exhale a little bit and sip and exhale and sip and exhale and sip. And then inhale and sip and just tiny little bits and it helps just settle helps settle your diaphragm which is what spares me when you have the hiccups <clears throat> and i can usually get rid of them very fast as soon as i start getting them ah uh, yeah huh yeah, I may have to look at getting one for Flint because his hiccups make me want to throw up because he gets them so deep. Oh, it engages the diaphragm. There we go. Nice and straw. So forcefully repeating two to three times. Oh, okay. This is kind of cool. This is, I'm assuming this is what you were talking about. A hick away. Oh, look, you don't need all that bullshit. Oh, that's like 20 bucks, but still. You were like, oh, you're I oh, like so weird, but I wonder if that might not be useful for someone who has just general like breathing issues, like to to sort of help regulate uh, their breathing. I like how it's listed as alternative pain relief from Tilkier. Oh, I see the one. Eight dollars right there. Oh yeah, so th yeah, it basically is doing what I, I do with my uh, my little breathing exercise. Interesting. I might add that to Blint's wish list. <laughs> It'll be fine. Add to Blint's wish list. And people are going to be like, why do you have a hiccup straw? And he'll be like, what? <laughs> it's fine. 
Oh, throw it at your ho yokel, and then it's Hickaway. I see what you did there. <sighs> I'm I'm not the brightest crane in the box today. I didn't even know that was a thing. So thank you, Ravi. That's interesting. That's because I have all the stream lights on me. Oh, speaking of which, I'm not even wearing my lipstick today. Okay. Have fun. I'm gonna go with Vegan lip butter. One of these free samples from uh three things from that Walmart box. I still can't. How I get these, keep on getting these like waves of relief that I don't have to hand wash clothes. This doggo is so cute. I have been enjoying doing the cross stitch the last few weeks. It's a lot less movement in uh, crochet. I found another Tunisian crochet hook just randomly in my room. So now I have like five and a half and six mil hooks. But they're both like fixed lengths. Surprise crafting tools. It's a th it is a sign. Except both of them are like a, a fixed length, so 
I'd have to find things done in like panels. It is a soothing, it's definitely something that I've thought about since we tried it the other way, like the, the rhythm. It's quite soothing. Mm, or yes. Clint was trying to get me to start a new craft project today, which I never thought I would hear. There was a, a potentially a, a deer drop thing. Um. For a pretty cool prize, but I, I've contacted and asked for clarification because I don't want to put in, you know, a crochet project's and Amiga Remy's worth of effort to be told that no, it doesn't work. Um, potentially. Uh, if I could make an Amigurumi uh, to one of the things, I'd get a fancy fucking... I could get a, a really fancy uh, Yeti cooler. A really big one, which would be great for like fishing or out when we have like outside adventures. So it's like a couple of hundred dollars worth of cooler. So it, it's appropriately balanced, but I'm not putting in the effort unless I, I know for sure it's going to pan out. It's going to get me tangled up. Apparently Flint's getting twitchy to do craft stuff. So he may be doing some craft streams soon. So that's cool. Is 
That's gonna be all I can do to like not back seat. Told him he's gonna have to make sure he's doing it when I'm streaming, so I I can't like be like, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Cause that's not fair. I do that. Look at my needle minder, Punky. I got two of them. <laughs> the little black and white one, too. That's so cute. I'm like a real stitcher now or something. I wish I could make this group onto my desk properly.
there's really only one point of contact, so I don't see how. really hope I got this all lined up correctly. Yeah. It helps a lot. All of us like all of a sudden you have access to a lot more of the map. The only place where I I struggled with that it was when I was in that volcanic area because there's uh, no lake water. There's only lava. And apparently drinking lava is something you're not supposed to do. Whatever. I mean, I've eaten hot pockets. Lava's not that much different. Really. <clears throat> also, McDonald's apples pies. Okay. That's gonna be. I kind of miss them. It, yeah, they've they've changed though. Well, at least for me, like the pies used to have like a really flaky crust, and now it's more like a a crumbly pastry, like a like a pot pie. And I don't like that pastry as much. I like it when it's all like got the lots of layers. <coughs> but if someone bought me a pie, I would still eat it. Because, you know, I don't want to be pious. But I'm sure that's a thing. I'm gonna try and make cheesecake tomorrow. <laughs> These Google surveys are funny. Why were you searching for hiccup straws? Because I was looking for a straw to get rid of hiccups. Please. 
I like doing these because these give me Google Play credit, which I can then use to subscribe to friends on YouTube. We like that. Look at that, 64 cents. 64 cents. Oh, it's an ad break. <clears throat> I should have just saved it for an ad break, shouldn't I? Okay. Time to set up a stretch. Have a cup of tea. Wiggle your fingers. Look at something further away from your face than a foot. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Totally not tempted to fire up Planet Crafter for three minutes, by the way, at all, not. <laughs> All right. So what am I doing here? evening good good 
like to hear how's your planet coming along oh my god I, we got drones last night the drones are amazing spoilers by the way <laughs> it's okay slowly is fine Ain't nothing wrong with going slow. They are amazing. Super amazing. <laughs> Hi, Bert. It's so fun watching them scurry around. It took it took a bit for me to figure out. Oh boy, your brain's gonna be like Zzz. Yeah, it took me a bit to figure out how to make them work. Um and now it's just like it's great dude between those two games hello there <laughs> i'm sadie like that that's a lot going on hello this is emilio hello. aka oh, nice pacing change with a friendly reminder please take some time for yourself do a stretch take your vitamins or medication have a siesta fiesta take a walk and don't forget be kind, be to, kind yourself. to yourself it's emilio Thank you, Sadie. No, you could play them at the same time, Stone. You could like set things out in Planet Crafter and then just play Factorio and have Planet Crafter progressing nicely in the background. Just, you know. Just throwing ideas out there. Hi, Sadie. Oh. Well, yeah, I've got three monitors. So uh, technically I could play Planet Crafter twice in Victorio. I don't think it works like that. Flint was picking on me when we were out and he's like, so how long are you actually going to craft for before before you say your hands are sore or too sore to craft and then you're going to want to switch to Planet Crafter because you're clearly addicted and I was like, shut up. Shut up. I need my craft streams. So me. I would never. Yeah, exactly. It's just on a different scale. And this is a dog, so it's like animal. I may have to move my, the, the tree doodads from around the base, though, because the trees are getting a bit aggressive. They're kind of encroaching inside a little bit. Do it. Stone. This one's sleeping. Oh, fucking hiccups. No, that was a sneeze. Oh, bodily functions are confusing. <laughs> uh, meat suits.
But yeah, I've got a few drones now. And I really like that you can just... You can set supply and demand, but there's no need to like... Gear them together or anything. I think that's, that's like... Satisfactory could take note of that. <laughs> Look, Barrett, that's what you get for not paying attention. <laughs> How dear. What you get for talking in chip in Twitch chat, <laughs> neglecting your planets. Honestly, there is a very big uh, temptation to just fire it up and leave it running background, but I will get distracted. I don't want to do that. It's not going to hurt me to just do one thing at a time. And besides, because Flint was picking on me about it, I can't out on principle now. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this cross stitch when it's finished. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it away to someone. Maybe the text, the text on it is supposed to be... This cute message. Sleep till you're hungry, eat till you're sleepy. Maybe I need to change it so, so it says, fuck off, I'm sleeping. I'd be more likely to hang it up. Or something about not waking up a sleeping dog. I love all these like really beautiful embroideries that you get and they're like... <clears throat> Just full of sass and spice instead of bible verses I want to get like a uh, I want a little embroidery sampler pack, actually. I've done, I can do cross stitch, but I've not done other types of embroidery. Might be neat to learn how some how to do it on a sampler. I don't know.
I think it'd be because I'm a shit. Team need to go to a house that's full of them and just replace them with things like, haha, sex. Like James 69, haha, sex, or something stupid like that. Just see if they even notice. Because I'm five. But I guess a lot of decorative stitching does have religious origins. And potentially that was the only thing that you would have been allowed to work on is decorative art. So I, I guess that's probably why it is. Like you can't just do things of beauty, but you're probably allowed to stitch word like verse. I don't know. Seems like a thing. Is that someone that's mm, that new user in Molly? Molly. Oh, okay. Oh, they're back. Yeah. But now we have the luxury of being able to do cute embroidery saying, fuck off, I'm sleeping. Oh, maybe I should carry that down the side. But yeah, I'd love to try and do some other types of embroidery. Except for French knots. French knots can go suck my dick. That's terrible. But everything else looks fun. God, there's so much of my hair in this embroidery, it's ridiculous. I try to keep my hair back when I'm doing craft streams, but it just gets everywhere. Oh no, what am I, how am I supposed to balance Planet Crafter and Downton Abbey? Got my days off. Oh, 
Grounders is coming to Deirdrop next week as well. I don't know if that's one that you're interested in, Drax. Hi, I'm Pete. Call me. I am Peter. My friends call me Pete. Well, that was a dumb thing. I think it's next week. Yeah, 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 next week. Wednesday night, I think. 7 p.m. Wednesday. Hmm. So, don't know, don't know what the the deers are, but it's listed in their coming soon things. That moles person, that internationally famous mole e berry human. I'll pr if I can, I've I've only ever played it on Game Pass. Oh. Um, yeah, you may have heard of them, Bear. Um, if I can get it on PC, though, I'll be pretty happy. I think I might see if I can maybe rustle up a few people to try and work on some deers together, perhaps, because that way it's a lot faster, <laughs> depending on what they are. So probably like Thursday, Friday next week, maybe. If that sounds like something you might be interested, I I don't know. I have no idea. You're a person. I are you? I I have heard rumors that say this. So yeah, I don't know. Find out if it's compatible between Game Pass and Steam. <laughs> There's some homework for you, babe. If it if it is, it would be great. Oh, you're saying it is? Oh, okay. I got the first words come like, crossed over. Okay. Well, then I guess you don't have any homework. Lucky for you. I'm so excited for anniversary stream week next month because we've got a keep of vintage story to give away. I'm so, I feel so excited. But yes, so so maybe Thursday or Friday next week. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I got a key for... I know, I know. I mentioned it last night and Toast was like, wow. Um, so one of, like, it, it's an entire week of anniversary stream stuff next week, next month, and we have a key from them to give away. So we have to come up with something to do on that day as like a fun day event. But yes, so Thursday, Friday next week, I don't know why I'm waving my arms around. I have lots of nervous energy today. I'm all over the place. I toast. So yes, Thursday, Friday next week, see how things are on Deirdrop, but perhaps, perhaps a little, a little grounded, maybe a little bit of grounded co-op. Just, you know, if anyone's interested, you can have your people talk to my people. It's very exciting. <clears throat> I was talking to Flint today. Basically, every sentence that left my mouth was a different topic. And he was like, he was looking at me. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't give you context. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, sounds good. Sounds great.
So even if uh even if we can't get if I can't get the key on Deirdrop. Because the nice thing is when you do the things on Deirdrop, a lot of the times the rewards are game keys. Um we don't necessarily have to go through Deirdrop, but if you are a streamer, it's worth checking out because you could potentially get some game keys to give away or to share with friends and family or whatever. And you just have to, if you get a key from them, you just kind of have to stream for a couple of hours and that's the requirement. You don't even need to finish the dares really. Pretty handy dandy. <clears throat> Because the last time I played Grounded was with Flint, and that was like way, way back in the olden days. Um, back when we were playing Grounded on, you know, like styluses in our caves. Um, with smoke signals, yeah. Like I think the first little, like robot dude thing was under the tree but that was it they weren't even bees when i played last time they were talking about adding it but hadn't got around to it and that was when i streamed for gamepedia um so it's it's been a while but i do remember building a really neat base um out of grass and it I built it up on like a a little half wall like a garden wall and it it almost looked like Rivendell I mean it wasn't because you know it was made out of grass and tiny but with like the light blowing through and stuff it was real pretty But yeah, I, I don't know if I can commit more than a couple of days to it because there's so many other things that I have that I, I do have commitments to as well. Like Forever Skies. But I can definitely go ham on it for a couple of days. And neglect. Yeah, <laughs> speedrun. And uh, neglect Planet Crafter. Yeah, see, I've got I've got tomorrow and Tuesday off. I don't know what Ali's day. I need to meet the Jolly and find out what her days off this week are. We normally, because Ali and I normally try and connect at least once a week just to watch the show or something. Um, but she's just gone back to work after a break, so I don't know what her schedule is this week. So I don't want to push through the story without her. But also I want to play. But yeah, I can probably knock out most of it tomorrow and Tuesday. Aren't magnets the coolest? What am I doing? Oh, straight underneath there. 
three and then a space. Oh shit. I didn't even know. I have no idea what we've got left. I said my main, the main thing we've got is oxygen. Once I get that, uh, <coughs> that last thing in the oxygen line, I think it'll zoom along real fast. The phytoplankton doodad or something. I already have two aquariums built. Nothing in it, but I've got two aquariums built inside. They are big. Thankfully, I had that extra room that I built. At this point, I may as well have it playing in the background. Stop it. I fully expect to like fire up my friends list on Steam and just see everyone I know playing Planet Crafter. No. Oh, just just Beard and Luna. Yay! You want to, I don't see Drax, do I not have you on to, on Steam? I don't think I have you on Steam. Well, I I guess not. Wow. Or yeah, he was like, I guess we're not friends. Bruce. Well, I mean, if you want to be friends, there's my Steam code, but please, no pressure. No pressure. I do, I do have someone blocked. Who do I have blocked on? I don't know who that is. accepting new friends right now all right my schedule's kind of full right i see how it is And Baird, we still need to play more of that Wild Bender game too. How are we going to fit that all in? <sighs> the, the temptation there to to hit the ignore button because again, I'm five. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit ignore. Oh fuck, did I? I don't think I did. Okay, no, we good. <laughs> I was like, what have, what have I done? I just accidentally sassed myself. All oh, right, right. If we could just get, get right on that between playing all the games, it would be great.
got in. I don't know if I like my alerts. Forgotten. Hello, 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 hello. Dicey dungeons. It goes good. Well, hi, Punky. E. Went to. How was how was was it? Oxygen not included. See, that's on my wish list. Is one that I think I I might enjoy. One, two, three, four, five. Along with like fifty other fucking games. Um, but welcome in, everyone. Hello, hi. I'm Del or Deliria. Uh, my pronouns are she her. I am doing step by numbers today. But really, my heart is in Planet Crafter. Uh, so, you think I'd enjoy both? Dicey Dungeons, I have heard of. I've heard of. Quasal. Yes, and there's, there's, uh, croissants. I have, yes, I've played a lot of it, and honestly, I, I just want more. Uh, oh, it's a roguelike? Roguelikes kind of aren't really my thing. They, aren't they? I need more of them, but they are very, very loud. It's such a good game. Wait. And wait. Oh, you, you are talking to Forgotten? I was confused for a second. I was like, wait, what did I do? Oh, Lord. Oh, TNG is so much fun. I really. I had another idea. Instead of recording my voice for Tangier, I'm going to try and see if I can get Flint to do it. So get Flint to read the script, and then we can have an AI Flint. But then I can manipulate and make him say things. Like, yes, dear, you can get a, have a bowl of ice cream. Let me get it for you. I would love to make you a cup of tea. And other nefarious things. That's honestly the most nefarious thing I can come up with. See. I cannot wait until I can get a prescription in. Get my eyes tested at the end. Punky always just gets really amazing answers out of the Tangia AI. Oh. Punky Pink Cow asked me, what's the best thing about Delirious cross-stitching? The best thing about Delirious cross-stitching has got to be the creativity and the meticulous detail. Each piece feels like a journey through a hive of colors and patterns, buzzing with personality. It's like they're stitching magic with every thread. It got B references in there. It constantly amazes me. Where did it get the B reference from? It's literally just text. I don't think it has anything about bees in my... Unless it's, it's watching. What's interesting is Tangier maintains like context almost throughout a stream. Oh, yeah. Good call, Punky. Yeah, because I forgot I have bees in there. 
Yeah. It's like they're stitching magic with every thread. The David Edinburgh ones are really good. I feel like the the color thing has been really helpful. I think it's been like over a month since I started using it. Gordon's widget. Wait. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit, Daisy's going nuts. Give me one second. I need to go see what she's going on about. All right, neighbor's Cato is hunting in the yard. So Daisy is helping by barking. Except her bark is like this weird, quiet one. Now it's really. Oh. 
but this was another one at six, right? Three, four, five. Hmm. Apparently I have fair walls. You know, when you try to look something up and you can't find it because it's already there. Yeah. It's fine. I suppose she's getting more inventive with how she gets to her back legs pretzel too.
fucking neighbor's dogs on the yard again too. And neighbor's cats standing out there yowling. Oh! Punky Pink Cow asked me, how can Daisy the dog help the neighborhood cats hunt small creatures? Ah, the curious alliance between canine and feline. While Daisy the dog may seem an unlikely assistant in the art of hunting, her acute senses can be quite beneficial. She might alert the neighborhood cats to the presence of small creatures with a subtle bark, or lead them to hidden nooks where these critters seek refuge, serving as a talented scout in this interspecies collaboration. Hmm. I, I think that's attributing far too much nouse to Daisy, <laughs> but that was very cute. Subtle bark. Daisy does bark. I don't know, unless it's an assumption that Daisy is a femme name. Because I don't think I've got anything about Daisy on my Twitch page except for those emotes, which are just Daisy. <clears throat> Thank you for the 10 Gs. Actually, Daisy's bark is, uh, has gotten, like with her, her change, um, her bark has got quieter and kind of husky sounding. And we had one delivery person who was just like, my God, her bark is so cute. And I was like, I know it, it is. Hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Feel free to lurk anonymously or jump into chat, however you feel comfy. They really are. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one. I think having an AI flint would be very entertaining. It is. <sighs> so, apparently our jasmine is flowering. Thank you. I went out there and I was like, oh, what's that? Smell of jasmine. Love, love, love jasmine. Right. Which way do I want to take this now? Arrow down. Down. Yeah. Welcome to my life. Oh, in stale we dog dog urine as well. That's very much a part of my life right now. Wee! What's really ooh? Quickly sharing banana bread recipes. Oh, 
still gonna figure out what to do with all that fucking cauliflower. But that casserole did look good. So much cauliflower. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're gonna go down the left. The back leg, sorry. It's a front leg. It's a leg. Okay, we're just doing the leg first. I have a thing to show you. I got I got Daisy some um, washable diapers because she's having some incontinence issues. So if we bring her inside, need to keep everything clean and tidy. And I just, oh my God, these break, these are so fucking cute. Oh, man. Look at that. Little denim layered skirt. But also, they made the lining brown, which I really appreciate. So we got a little denim skirt. And then. Cobwebs. Uh, <gasps> exactly, toes. Little spooder webs. We got Daisy yet, yeah. and then Cow Daisy. They're not pink. I did try to find pink ones. I don't say they're blast. I did try to, and look, I just they got little like tail hole. But I decided after it's like I didn't want to get disposables um so these are machine washable and had really good reviews but yeah she's she's getting some incontinence issues now where like you, you move her the wrong way and she just like leaks outside it's fine because we can just wash her but when i have back out for her if i have to bring her inside or if we have to take her to the vet so now we have these cute little washable diapers also ads. So the fabric feels really like they're not super well made, but fabric feels like it's going to wash well. Um, I think they're originally designed for fe uh, for girl dogs who go in heat, but they work. They'll work for what I was doing. Oh yeah. But I saw the cow spots and I was like, I need that one. How would how would how would Cell feel about that? Oh, I just realized I'm sitting sitting here stitching away and you can't see. <clears throat> but yeah, it's Daisy Dukes for Daisy. It seemed like the thing. It seemed like the thing to do. It was totally unnecessary to get the ones that were frilly, but they were so fucking cute. 
that I had to. There, 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 there. <coughs> Welcome back. Hopefully I don't have to move this. I might have to. I don't want to. Oh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to have to move it in the frame. Yeah, that leg dangles down. Oh, it's a tail. A leg, it's a tail. But yeah, it's tail comes down a lot. And we're at the base of the tail here, so it comes out quite far. We will make that. I think I should just end that floss there. But it's not a lot. I don't, I don't want to waste. But also I'm lazy and I don't want to have to rearrange the whole dang thing. <laughs> yeah. 
it. No, I'm pushing it there. Definitely pushing it. For the sake of a few inches of loss, not worth it. Not worth it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go into the next color. Is stars <clears throat> yeah first is One five five seven eight. <clears throat> we got a larger hmm. I think two will work Damn it, Prickly's got me wanting to, to do baking now. Banana bread recipes. Just gonna do single stitches on the way down. Oh, 
Well, I can't make banana bread for a while anyway, because the bananas we have are like aggressively green still. Not even close. We're ready to make cake with. I don't have an apple to put them in a bag with. Realized I'm hungry. Probably because Prickly's talking about banana bread and just. Really not looking forward to the back stitching on this. Or something I've ever bothered with because it just seems so finicky.
Well, Hanky, that sounds like something that needs to be addressed. References to German anything in chat that are relevant to cake. I keep, man, I keep thinking about that. Start doing a stream cookbook. I keep mentioning it, but not doing anything with it. Rhubarb cake? I would eat rhubarb cake. I love rhubarb. Such a good flavor. Like sweet and tangy with a bit of acid. And rhubarb juice is good for for uh, keeping your regular too. If you don't have hashtag bitty fiber. Rhubarb is great for that. <laughs> my um, my stepdad's place had rhubarb growing fucking rampant in the backyard. They threw some out in the compost heap, and it just it took off. And they had pumpkins and rhubarb just growing like halfway through the backyard. It was amazing. So she was called Rhubarbera. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Rhubarbera. Rhubarbera bra, the river. <laughs> I can't do it. Rhubarbera bra. Man, I need some more of these little, these little doodads. So useful. I can't remember where I got my last ones from. Rubabra Barbarians. All this delivery. So good at wording. <laughs> Impossible to.
Sounds about right. Rex, I don't know what you were doing with those rockets. This is me totally not checking Discord while I'm streaming. You can't prove it. Oh, something just crunched. <sighs> Shut up, stream elements. Why? My attention span is like today. One, five. I, I was wondering what you did there. So they all just get like super janky. <gasps> Beard. Org. As any good southern girl would say, y'all leading me into temptation. Freaking rocket tipping and forks. I'm gonna try and be an old, old dignified like. Doing my stitching. Or something. Oh, also, we're doing a sim stream on Wednesday. Big bother, I was on Wednesday. I believe we're up to summer. So, be curious to see who's going to die of fire or drowning this time. I fully expect Ali's going to see that picture and be like, we need to do that. And then try and use the roof to jump on the rocket. I watched the, um, the video that you posted on YouTube and you're right. Your quality, your mic quality is just like fucking miles above what it was then. Like, it's not something that I really would have paid attention to, but comparing, like, a recent one with, like, that, yeah, come a long way with that stuff. I don't know if mine's changed too much over the years, except for the way that, the way that I talk on stream has changed a lot. But yeah, it's a big difference. How it's only been like what a year and a bit? How is it? How long has it been since we started stream? Uh, doing your videos. I think you said it was like a year. A year last month. Dang, that's a huge upgrade then in a year to go from, like, to make that much change. Good job. You should totally be patting yourself on the back. That's so cool. When I when I started streaming, I I don't know why. 
but I tried so hard to be like proper and I don't know tried really hard to like not swear and to you know I think in my head I had like you know like BBC news presenter and I don't know why because the streamers I watched were all like basically a bunch of guys playing Fortnite and PUBG <laughs> and I, I thought that was and then I don't know it took like a couple of years and then I was just like ah fuck I don't care whatever fuck Eventually I relaxed, but listening to like, like listening to my first, like the year, to just seeing like clips from like the first couple of years, I'm just like, oh, that's rough. Okay. So, yes. No. Straight what? Going straight to hell? What? Did I... Did I disprove a theory? A hypothesis? I... What is... Oh. I mean... Yeah. No. No, I don't. I think it, no, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I'm in a cis hit relationship, but but no. I think I think I think girls are quite nice. Just quietly. Well, not really quietly, because I stood on Twitch. Yeah. I think we talked about it a little while ago. It was kind of like... By pen? Little, little, little by, a little bit pen. I know, I know far too many trans hotties, so gotta be banned. Honestly, I'm probably the most straight-laced person because I am very... I think other than Echo, there may not be anyone else who's kind of ace-ish. <clears throat> but that's as close to straight as I get in that like, ace-ish ace tendencies grace I guess Um, where am I doing this? Just trying to... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Trying to find a needle and a gay stick. It cracks me up because I talked to Flint. Um, I was talking to Flint about using LGBT tags on Twitch. Because I said what was like, I have... Uh, a lot of rainbow folk in here like a lot of of lgbt people in our community and i love it fucking love it and i mentioned that to flint he's like well didn't you don't you use lgbt tags and pride tags and i said no i've never used an lgbt tag or pride tag in my life on Twitch primarily because I don't uh, it's probably okay now but 
when all those hate raids kicked off, I didn't have the capability of dealing with all the hate raids and stuff. And I, so I had the luxury to like avoid it. But yeah, I've never, I've, I've never used those tags for stream. And yet somehow we attract all the cool people, which I'm pretty happy about. But we also have plenty of cishet people in here too. I just like that there's like a good mix. Everyone's welcome. Is it your call? No, you. You're like the coolest cow I know. No, you. You can't. You don't get to call me a liar. Ah, get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh. The wrong thief. Funky. My brain is desperately trying to come up with some sort of like joke regarding rolling around on the floor and sausage rolls or beef wellington it's i don't know what it's doing nothing successful is coming out of that <laughs> yeah yeah how can we can milk cow but not cow or milk huh Also, totally, totally unfair to take a quote I said IRL when we were in a car together. <laughs> but also totally valid because I would have done exactly the same thing. I like how basically the entire trip when, when we were like traveling around, Flint's just sitting in the back of the car like, what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> What are you guys on about? Almost finished for the day. I know. My God. Honestly, it was really nice having a friend here. Like, I know I have many friends on the internet land. But I don't have any here <laughs> in this place. I have outside of one's family. I don't know anyone. There's no friendship with anyone. So it was such a, a wonderful thing to be able to, like, just hang out with a friend. Totally hydrate with coffee. <laughs>
but did your friends make you wee more? Is that what you're saying? There's definitely more wee jokes. It was the same when um, Sadie and, and M visited. By the way, M, give, M and Sadie both give amazing hugs. I was so thoroughly chuffed when M came to like put her arms out so I could get a hug. I was so excited. You're a tea with. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes. M, M is uh, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> M doesn't do hugs very often, so I was just like, oh my god, I got a hug. Oh, that's so cool, Punky. That's amazing. Oh god, what have I done? <gasps> Soma's playing Planet Crafter! Yes! I knew they would get into that. Eee! Oh! Oh! Not me getting goosebumps and feeling like I need to. Well, I think she's fucking special. You're all special. Emma's. Yeah, stop it! Look, everything's making me cry at the moment. <laughs> Just... Wait, that's dumb. <laughs> that's so dumb. It just... That is the sort of joke that a, like, a seven-year-old who's just learned about the structure of jokes would give. Terrible. Exactly, Beard. That's why I was like, should I have this running in the background while I'm streaming? Because it's a perfect idle game. <clears throat> I'm so glad Soma's doing it. I think Soma's going to get a kick out of it as much as we did. <laughs> oh no, Funky! It's fun. I like that. <laughs> they, that so didn't end where I thought it was going to end either. Man, I wish I thought about that when I was running bars.
Discord, please. Oh, are they? I do love my little needle minders. The, the jump that you get from the lower tiers, like each time you tear up, the, the scale is just mind blowing. But then the units for everything changes as well. So it makes sense. So I put down one of those the the heater last night and I couldn't believe how big that was. My eyes are getting blinky. I know eyes are supposed to blink, but like... Focusy blink. Focusy blinky. Drunky pink cow? I'm oh, not drunk. You're doing that on Wednesday, by the way. Big Bother is on Wednesday. April's Big Bother edition. Oh, it was too. There it goes. You know my man, I still don't know when I'm gonna fit in for Rivers, guys. Being stressed about it.
This one is one, five, five. You know, Punky, I still get people coming down my backpack when I go out. I have to do some repairs on it soon. Yeah, I guess because it's so bright. Especially if I go out for lunch somewhere, there's always like a server who's just like, your bag's so cool. I'm like, Wait, I know. It was made for me. It's custom. Some people can say they got a custom backpack. But yeah, it's it's starting to wear out on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to do some let's see if I can find some leather or something that I can put on there. Mmm. That's good. But yeah, it's literally, it's literally getting warm. <laughs> because I've used it every day since you gave it to me. So it's like, please. You can see, it's like actually wearing out. Like wearing through the fabric. Well, along where it's it rests against my back yeah so i think before i do it i'm gonna see if i can find like a little like leather patch or something that i could just put over it just to protect it before it really goes but that's the only spot really that back that spot there um Everything else is still really good. But yeah, I think a, like a leather vinyl strip there will do the trick. And then I'll get lots more use out of it. I've been offered a couple of bags, like crossover bags and stuff. But honestly, especially with using a cane now when I'm out and about, having a backpack is so much easier than having like an over shoulder bag. It's just like one less thing to get in the way. Yes. I do. I, I use it every day I go out. Every day that I go out, I use it. Every day. Thank you. So are you. Ha. 
Oh, gee. <clears throat> At some point, I may have to hit you up for a, one of your new types. But I don't... I don't know... It'd, I'd need, like, a lot of strap to get around my waist. But maybe not. A cold goth, Hello Kitty, Jigglypuff, Baby Looney Tunes, Nazuko, and Andy. Good lord. That's quite the variety. But yes, I may have to put an order in for, for one at some point in the future, if uh, it's something that you think you'll be capable of. My backpack is fine, it just seems like it'd be a useful thing to have as well. Um, again, with having like limited access with my hands when I'm using a, a, a cane, it would be kind of useful just to have everything there where I don't swing it off my back. I think an extra pocket would be more useful. I like I like the pin windows, but I don't have a lot of pins. <laughs> so I have the two that you gave me. Um but I don't I don't I am I don't need one now. Yeah. Okay. I have let me know how much shit it is as well, please. So I can do it properly and support a crafter. Support crafter friend, because I know like the the abuse that that backpack has taken stands to surety for the quality of your workmanship so it is worth a much that's a technical term to a much
Thank you. Yes, we have ads starting shortly. So, trying to stand up and stretch. And uh, get a drink and stuff. Have a wee? Get a snack? There we go. 30 seconds. It's really annoying when it says ad starting soon and then it waits like 30 seconds before it actually kicks on the ad. I'm like, could you just do it when you say you're going to do it, please? take a break too. I will see you in a few minutes. We back. Hello. Hi. Hey, remember how I said I would never do another 24 hour stream? Oh, you. Yeah, I'm doing another one. <coughs> Sadie. Uh, 13th, 14th of May.
The 7th to the 14th is anniversary week. <clears throat> so just before your birthday. No. Just after. Wait. Am I doing the numbers wrong? I can't... I can't number American dates still. Just after. Yeah, there's a 10. Well, uh, surrounding. Oh yeah, it's in my calendar. Never mind. Yeah, so from the 7th to the 14th, it's like a full week. You took vacation? Okay. Okay. Or do you vacation for my anniversary stream? I think what I'll do, it's going to be weird though, because it's a, a Monday. Like a Monday night. But I'll probably do what I did last year, which was to start it at like seven o'clock in the evening. But also, I am not. I am committed to, to saying no and changing plans if I need to. Yes. Well, well, well. Um, I will have more information though next week because I am meeting uh, college students for their final presentation on Thursday. And I've basically just let, left it all up to them as to what's happening. Well, I hope you have a good vacation. Honestly, not needing to make a decision is kind of nice. Yeah, it's luck pretty lucky. this drink bottle that you helped me pick out is bonkers I put I put ice cubes in it on Friday before stream um, and I've been topping it up with water since but I put ice cubes on it on, the, on Friday night it is still cold now. T 
two days. Like, there's no ice left in it, but it's still cold. Yeah, $10. And it's got like a silicon butt on it too. Hi, Sadie, Sadie helped me pick out a replacement water bottle because my green one was getting too bulky for me. And we went with this one because fire. But then it also keys out on the green screen, which is a bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I need another one. I could put stickers on it, but if I put stickers on it, then my bees will get chroma keyed out. But I do have... I have that one to put on it. It just it, that that sticker has been sitting on my desk the entire time. Good luck. Don't fall in. Don't mind the army of squirrels in the basement. Nothing dodgy is going on there. It feels later than it is, and I don't like it. No, it feels earlier than it is. I can word. It feels like it ought to be 9 or 10 o'clock.
I gotta figure out some exercises for my shoulder. Ones that I'll actually do. <clears throat>
I really love this slight pink tint on the tummy. We'll move these ones here. Single. Out of the way. Just going the wrong way here. I'm not gonna have to do this.
Looking forward to doing my nails again this week. Getting my nail wrapped up. Now I'm not doing laundry by hand. I won't have soggy hands all the time. I would have pretty nails. I'm going cross-eyed again. I'm trying to like look up and away a lot. <laughs> I'm definitely still like And it felt like a really big section. It's not. All right, <clears throat> my attention is waning.
Yeah, it's, geez, it's only three and a half hours. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wash my face.
Probably not. Oh. Popper! Hi, Pugma! Sleepy Popper! I have to get a cat one now. I still... I still have a, a thing about trying to do a polite cat cross-stitch. entertaining yes indeed also apparently I now associate you with kilbasa does things there is oh there absolutely is yeah there's a few websites um that are that are pretty good but a lot of them charge um honestly the what i've done before to make my own patterns is i've used 
the free software um, and then transferred it over into like Google Sheets because then I can set formulas to figure out like how much loss I need, percentage completion, that sort of stuff. Because we went to the store and they didn't have the Eckridge in large bags, packs, but there was another brand where it worked. It was like a 12 pound thing, but it worked out to be like 250 a pound for smoked sausage. So we got that. Like Georgia something. Nearly as good though. It is. See, I can get it down to like this. Yeah, me too. Again. See, I can get it to looking like that for a cross stitch pattern using Stitch Fiddle. But that's with like 30 colors. I don't know how. Yeah, it's a bit washed out. I may have to try a few different sides. Honestly, there's not much improvement with 50 colors. I may have to stylize it first. <laughs> it is. <laughs> ah, 30 colors. Great. Yeah. Sorry, I... I may have to see if I can turn it into like a cartoon first. We'll like stylize it and then make that into a cross stitch. But it, it's one of those projects that's sitting there in the back of my head like this is something that I absolutely need to do. some reason. Yeah, there was a, a blanket that I crocheted a few years ago using the, um, the Punisher skull type thing as a pattern. And I did it in that website. And then I basically copied it over pixel by pixel into Google Sheets. And then did like conditional formatting so I could see like how many stitches were in each color and then I was able to use a formula to figure out how much yarn I needed for each because I knew how much floss or how much yarn each square used and it worked out really well and I actually ended up 
I've sold that pattern a couple of times, which surprises me. Saved it as a PDF and sold it with measurements, and people seem to like it. But of course it's not Punisher, it's US Skull Flag something or other. It was a gift for someone. But I put so much effort into making the pattern, I figured I should try and sell it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you legally distinct penalizer. That's really good. Exactly. It was briefly taken off uh, for copyright infringement, but they restored it. I'm guessing someone reported it and then they saw that it was it's literally just called US flag skull blanket or something. It's like the pattern's on sale for like three bucks. It's not like I'm a, a big buyer. Big, big seller. This doggo has many stitches in it. And they are small. They make my eyes go wonky. I shouldn't, man, I wish I had thought of that. Penalizer, that's really clear. My coffee's broken, but I have no desire to get up and brew more. And my water is broken, what the heck? t-shirt i do what i want my favorite t-shirt okay water is fixed i'm sad i've wanted enough that the collar is starting to die on it but i was like no Got it for a big whopping five dollars from Walmart. Ooh, Auto Forge Dev is live. Daisy decided she was tired of barking at the neighbors.
No. Yeah, gallery or general is fine. I'm not worried. But you can just post a link in chat here. I'm not picky. Discord's not busy enough to worry about the channels getting flooded. Oh, that's cute! <laughs> I like that! I like that a lot. That's very good. I got Flint a cute t-shirt for his birthday last year where it's just like a black t-shirt with a pocket but it's got a slice of pizza going into the pocket. I thought it was really cute but he doesn't really wear it. I think he, he didn't like the fabric. Maybe I should just take that for myself. It was pretty entertaining to me. Oh. It's something. Oh god. It's eight o'clock, huh? My phone makes my watch vibrate on alerts and I always forget about it and then it spooks me. There's the number of like weird t-shirts with just like oh it it's like when you get cake decorations and the cake frosting literally just says your name here or something on it like they just yeah Exactly. Yeah. Oh no, beard. That's it. Do an emergency order for a, a uh, UPS. Can't have that. Does it not auto save? I probably should have figured that out a few days ago, huh? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, hey! Post that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Don't scary me. Oh, you, oh, you have a UPS? Maybe the um, battery on it's going. Oh, well, that's a bugger. Google says no autosave, but there is a mod. Oh, okay. Well, there's the answer, I guess. I'm trying to see if my stickers will fit on my cane, but they're too big. Yep. 
be where I should go. I guess that's that's like I was like, what would you need a mod for in that game? But I guess auto saving seems like a good thing. Well, that fit. That one, my B will go on there, but it doesn't really work. I guess I need little stickers. I guess I'm lucky that things didn't get super janky when I was playing then. Especially with Ali and I both playing together because Ali had to restart a couple of times. Actually, yeah, I think I'm about due to ch check the battery in my UPS because it does flicker a little sometimes. Oh, interesting. Oh, we have ads popping in about 30 seconds. So, time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, hydrate, we do a little dance, get the cat, and uh, i see you all in a few minutes. I'm going to take a break too, and just do some walking. Back shortly.
Mm. But when one person said no and another says not very often, I guess. I lost an hour after my cat. Oh dear. Cats. Cats be catting. I've got. It might not be so much an auto save as a cloud sync. Steam cloud sync. Just one. Oh. oh yeah, maybe. One, five, three, five, five. It seems like something that ought to be obvious somewhere saying yes or, or no, this game does or does not auto save. Now my brain is saying that I vaguely recall something about an autosave interval, but I don't think there was. I think that may have been auto uh, auto forge. Played at craft this time. I mean. If you didn't lose as much progress as you thought, then that's a good. Ow. Apparently, if you stab yourself on the tummy with a needle, it's sharp. Go figure. Why am I allowed needles? Or sharp object in general.
It does? Oh. Oh, oh there you go. Is your Google Foo lying to you? So the answer is yes, no, maybe. Possibly. But only on Tuesdays. interesting because the wiki the fandom page anyway mentions autosave but it's not necessarily an official wiki so Miss Gamepedia. Yeah, that's a good point, Batman. Like, there wouldn't be a mod if it wasn't needed. Especially an updated one. I feel like I've been playing with fire in the last few days where I've just like saved at the end of a 10 hour long game session. I have chosen violence unintentionally.
Why does this dog have to have such a big butt? So many stitches in the dog butt. So there's a place near us, Toast, that does French toast, but with croissants. And I forgot about it until just now. And now I want French toast croissants. They also have carrot cake waffles. Cream cheese frosting, which sounds like heaven and death all in one dish. Or save this too. Five space. Going cross-eyed again. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's cross-eyed, but I can like all of a sudden my eyes just start losing focus and it's like blinking. Oh, okay. I just realized apparently I'm doing full stitches now. You got new glasses recently and everything looks crooked. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm due to, to get my eyes tested again. I'll be going in the next month or so. had this prescription for a few years now and this is my normal prescription but I added more oomph um this is this club here of glasses is the ones that I use just for when I'm at my desk or doing crafting um but it needs more magnification a hundred percent I 
I don't think either one of my eyes is particularly worse than the other. They ain't, they ain't great either. Though, though, everything's better, you know, after eye surgery last year, so. That was a fucking experience. Was it last year or year before? I can't remember now. Oh, wow. I can understand why everything looks crooked to you. Your brain's going to have to readjust for the new glasses. That's pretty cool, though. Your brain's doing some heavy lifting. I'm I was always pretty far-sighted right from being young, but I've had astigmatism in in both eyes <clears throat> since I was like eleven or twelve. Um and the only reason we I even knew that then is I was always a good student. Um, but I started getting into trouble uh, in class, like talking in class and being disruptive. And one of my teachers noticed that I, I was squinting and struggling to read. And she mentioned it to the school nurse and so on and so forth and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so eventually the school helped get me in to see an optometrist. And that's when they figured out that I had stigmatisms. So all it took was changing where I sat in the classroom and giving me glasses, and all of a sudden I was fine again. Back to being my my nerdy self. I know, I know I definitely had don't have twenty twenty. I didn't. I never realized how bad my mine are until I take my glasses off. Or when I put them on after a while and all of a sudden everything kinds of kind of comes into focus and it's like, oh, that's clever. Corrective lenses are so amazing. When you think about the technology, especially to make lenses now, with by programming, you know, like certain thicknesses and curves and stuff. It's really clever. I'm always fascinated by all that. But I don't think I've had a, another eye exam since my surgery, so I am pretty overdue.
You survived the desert? Yes. Good job. Did they have fun? Do you have fun? Folks are very ready for bed. It's a long game. Yeah, like that was a pretty good length of time. Sure, if I would have the attention span. I've been drifting all stream. That's a lot of that's a pretty good length of time to to stay focused on one task. I was a Pippin leader, uh, which is like Girl Scouts, but like just for six, like between six and seven year olds. If ever there was an exercise in herding cats, it's trying to convince 12 to 15 six year old girls to get stand in two lines. I, I, I don't know how teachers do it <laughs> and at the time I was like in my like early 20s and I didn't know what I was doing. Just turned my AC off because I was too cold and now I'm too hot again.
But to be honest, I think at, at that age, there's really not that much difference until they're taught to act differently. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, kids. It, it's not until they're taught that boys are supposed to be noisy and girls are supposed to be cult cool and calm. Till then, they're all little shits. <coughs> giggle monsters Right, but that's that's not necessarily to do with the fact that they're a son and daughter. Because you can just as easily have a first and second kid be completely different temperaments as well. No, I'm not surprised that your son, your, your kid is a let's not go there. Because you're a brat. And there's no point denying it. Yeah. And obviously your daughter takes after her mother. The able fell. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I did, um, when I was in high school, so I did a lot of work as in, like I did, like I said, I was a, a Pippin leader, so like Girl Scouts, um, and I also worked on an indoor kids playground, which was a real fucking eye opener. Basically, one of those big buildings is full of like a mess of like, uh, ball pit and you know a big like jungle gym and bouncy castle and you go there and you take your kids for like birthday parties and shit I worked there for a couple of years as well um <laughs> I will never let it if I ever have charge of a child I will never let them in to a ball pit because the shit we found was disgusting <laughs> um, but the the skills I learned in in those environments, so like taking care of the six year old and working in this playground, translated perfectly into bar management in dealing with drunk customers. Like, no need for adjustment in tone or anything. Just like perfect. Like the. The, the gentle peer well, I think they call it gentle parenting now I'm talking about using inside voices that sort of thing it works just as well on drunk adults as it does on eight-year-old kids I learned a lot it's like I know you're having really big feelings right now but we can process them in a more acceptable way if we sit down and talk.
You were pretty quiet as a kid? Well, you changed that up, didn't you? I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was... I spent a lot of time by myself. But I was constantly getting into shit that I shouldn't be getting into. That's the way. I didn't have, like, I didn't have a lot of friends at school, so I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. So yeah, I made my own trouble. Apparently I was a lot like my granddad as a kid. My granddad was constantly in trouble too. Never for being rude, but it was always an element of disobedience rather than back chat. So it was like resistance and disobedience and a desire to just like make your own mind up about things. So like he'd get in trouble for stealing apples from the neighbor's orchard or well, not and never from the trees. It was always a dead fall. But he always had an answer for things. So like they're dead full, they're on the ground, no one's, you know, like, no one's gonna get them anyway. Like, that kind of thing. Well, I have a graph that I've been working on. So I, which is the, the thing above me in the circle. So it's just re figuring out where things are in relation to <coughs> other squares and then hoping that you get it right and don't have to undo it all. Thankfully, in something like this, it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake because it's just shading. Sometimes you get patterns that are actually printed on the fabric and that's quite nice.
some some people are like that. They can't have any stitches out of place. So this is I don't know what scale fabric this is. I'm guessing this is fourteen, maybe. Um, but you get like really like the squares on this fabric isn't too bad but you can get it to where there's like 24 squares per inch or 32 squares per inch where the stitches are really fucking tiny that's where I would get lost I think this is like 14 stitches per or squares per inch so it's pretty 14 or 18 so it's pretty easy to see I need to pee. I'll be right back.
never ending. So. Come on, eyeballs. You can do it. Where's mine? Bring me coffee. Actually, you know what? I think I've done pretty good progress today. I think I think I'm good with that just shy of five hours which is still a lot of cross stitch to do even though I lathered and babbled a lot I feel like that's a good amount um especially because I'm tired so what are we doing Yeah, 
yeah, lots of progress today. I think... Oh, excuse me. Alright, I think I found who we're gonna raid. Um... So next week, the plan is Wednesday... Um... Wednesday is Big Baller. Thursday, Friday, grounded, potentially with friends. Um, Saturday, don't know yet. Saturday is always kind of, you'll decide on the day. Um, also on Thursday, I will have more information for people as to what's going on with the anniversary stream week. So keep your eyes out in Discord for stuff. I'm gonna send you over to Steal Your Heart. Um, she's really lovely. She's a very talented crocheter. Um, she loves Pokemon and she loves Disney stuff. Um, what it is she's working on that now? She's obsessed with Eevee. Um, so feel free to join us. Some of you may I think we've rated into her a couple of times. She's crocheting shoes right now. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so yes, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Thanks for keeping me company. I know I'm not as engaged in chat, I think, when I'm doing this as I am when I'm doing crochet. Um, but I do enjoy doing this as a change of pace. So... Yes. Also, the needle minders working fabulously. Thank you. I have a bunch of laundry and uh, I still have laundry and like dishes and lawns, and I've got to wash Daisy. <laughs> but yes, I'm I'm looking forward to some uh, off time from people. All right. So here's here's our raid. Um. Steal Your Heart's channel is PG-13, so please take that under advisement. Um, I'm not entirely sure what her opinions are of language, but uh, just, you know, you're fine on here, you'll be fine like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, here are the right messages, so feel free to copy and paste that into chat if you would like. Thank you, Stong. Um, there's me on social if you want to catch me on social. Um, also, I have a Patreon, which I'm still working on. Um, so, that's a thing. Uh, I don't know if I've missed anything else out, but I hope you guys all have a wonderful start to the week. Uh, be safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and uh, eat a treat. Have a nice treat for me, and do self-care. Okay, bye!